Getting a good night's sleep nowadays is really a challenge for many people. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some of my top tips to help you sleep better and deal with insomnia. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center, welcome. Yes, I'm coming to you in my pajamas. Topic is sleep, so I figured why the heck not. Anyway, let's get right into it and give me a like if you're having trouble sleeping, so I know and I see it every day in my clinic, but I'm curious to know, are you guys having trouble? So here are my top tips. So number one, what's the temperature in your bedroom? Our bodies are gonna be a little bit more hot at nighttime so we need the temperature in our bedroom to be a little bit cooler so experiment with this make your temperature setting a little bit lower than you normally would make sure that you're covered with blankets but getting the temperature correct can really resolve a lot of problems with sleep so make it a little colder try to aim for like mid 60s to 70 degrees and see if that helps for you might even have to go a little bit lower than that another way to help with the temperature is to take either a hot shower hot bath right before bed then your temperature will cool off. Well, you'll get hot and then you'll cool off very quickly. And then you'll really notice the drop in the temperature more and you'll be able to sleep better. So that's the first one, temperature changes, okay? Next, if you're gonna be on a device, like a phone or a TV or a computer, try to start winding down about an hour before you go to sleep because the blue light from all of these devices enters our eyes and interferes with our sleep. Another thing you can do is turn on your device's night mode, or there's plenty of apps out there now that will help adjust the light settings coming out. On, on a laptop, you can use something like Flux. There's plenty of other apps out there that'll work for this. So make sure you're avoiding the blue light. You can even get blue light glasses just to help you avoid getting so much blue light into your eyes. Okay, so next, everyone's drinking coffee and tea and caffeinated drinks most of the day. However, if you're having trouble sleeping, you may wanna start limiting your caffeine by about 12 to 2 p.m., somewhere in that range. You can have it in the morning, but later in the afternoon, it really might interfere with your sleep. So you may wanna stop drinking anything caffeinated after that time. Okay, next, getting exercise on a regular basis is also really helpful with your sleep. So make sure you're getting in your workouts because then your body will be able to rest better later that day. Okay, next tip. This one I really, really love. If you have a hard time with winding down your mind, if your thoughts are racing at night when you're laying there in bed, try getting a sound machine or a white noise machine. You can even use an app for this, but having some kind of whooshing sound in your environment will help drown out those thoughts that continue to keep you up at night. So. Like I said, you go on Amazon to get one of these sound machines. They're not very expensive and they really make a big difference. I use this myself and it totally helps me be able to sleep. Okay, so next, this is one of my all time favorites. It's an essential oil, lavender oil. I'm sure you've heard of lavender. It is very, very relaxing. So what? there's a couple ways you can do it. You can add it to a diffuser and diffuse it throughout your room. You can just add a few drops directly onto your pillowcase and then you will be inhaling it. Or if you wanna use it topically, you can put it on the bottom of your feet because that's a way for it to get into your body. But lavender oil is very inexpensive. You can find it almost anywhere and it's very helpful for relaxation. It's one of my favorite, favorite things to help me relax before I go to bed. Okay, so next, you can also try drinking some type of sleepy time or herbal tea before bed that contains something relaxing like chamomile and that kind of stuff. I mean, this is kind of mild, but it does help with some people. It just helps you calm down a little bit and get prepared for bed. So drinking a nice herbal sleepy type of tea before bed can also be useful. Now, as far as supplements go, there's so many that I can list here, but the reason why you're not sleeping or you're having trouble can vary from person to person. So 
it's too complicated to really give you a comprehensive list here it's best to work with somebody on this so in our clinic we can help you with a customized protocol find out why you're not sleeping and get you on the right supplements for you now one thing i do want to mention in this category because I know a lot of people are taking this. A lot of people are taking melatonin. I'm not a fan, except in a case of jet lag and traveling, because what you don't wanna do is take a hormone that's gonna stop your own body's production or slow it down. So it's best to avoid melatonin for the most part. You, don't, you definitely don't wanna take it all of the time, because then you're gonna stop making and producing more of your own. So. I'm not a fan of melatonin, like I said, except in cases of jet lag and traveling. Those are my tips, guys. If you need our help, please let us know. Free consultation will help you out why you aren't sleeping and get you back in shape. So hope you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time and nighty night.